Established in 1998 in Bulgaria as a 100% private company, Optix specializes in the design and manufacturing of optical, optomechanical and optoelectronic assemblies and devices for military and law enforcement applications. Competently applying the modern technologies, Optix executes the entire production cycle, from design and implementation of prototypes to serial production of components, assemblies and devices. The contemporary design economics and high technical characteristics of the products are comparable to the best world examples and excite a well-founded interest of the leading companies in the optical, medical and defence industries. With all that knowledge and expertise in the field, the company has developed a complete line of exclusive hunting products. These entirely civil thermal imaging and night vision devices have been recognised among the most popular professional hunters and exclusive customers by their superior performance, exquisite design and prestige. Nowadays the company has doubled the investment for new project implementation and introduced new exclusive devices with features and add-ons without competition on the market. Designed with remarkable precision, built by the highest standards, assembled with the greatest care and tested in outrageous conditions. Just because optics want to provide their customers innovative, professional and high-end products with personal touch to every detail. Optical manufacturing is Optics' core expertise. The company produces a large variety of optical components including various aspherical and spherical lenses with different diameters. Other optical components in terms of flat optics and prisms. The company has also a production of IR optics developed by crystals and laser substrates which find their place in the production of thermal imaging devices and the spherical lenses in the day and night vision systems. A variety of metal parts in different shapes is manufactured in Optics Mechanics Workshop. Specialised in processing of aluminium and magnesium materials, this 5 axis Mazak machine can make extraordinary shapes. An investment that makes Optics products remembered for their design and craftsmanship. All parts from the mechanics and optics workshop are transferred to the assembly area. This is the area where the complete devices are assembled, controlled, empowered and initially tested. Here the process involves a lot of precision and skilled handwork. Within the test laboratory of optics, devices are thoroughly tested and the performance is evaluated in simulated harsh scenarios such as shock resistance, humidity, temperature shock, solar radiation, sand and dust, waterproofing. Thermal imaging devices work in the infrared spectrum of the light. Each object of the scene emits infrared waves in the form of heat. The infrared waves are captured and transmitted by the IR objective made from the sophisticated crystals germanium and then focused towards the infrared detector of the thermal imaging device. The infrared detector is composed of tiny sensitive elements, commonly known as pixels. These interact with the infrared waves and read them while at the same time they generate electronic impulses with different values. These impulses are then processed by the electronics to a digital image that is viewed on screen in the viewfinder. Optics identify a 60 snapshot, laser rangefinder ready an exclusive solution for professionals. Key characteristics. Superb IR lens with scratch resistant carbon coating. Four times digital zoom, three times optical. 384 by 288 or 640 by 480 resolution. Durable magnesium body. Wi-Fi module for video streaming. 
laser rangefinder, multifunctional buttons, weather type mode, standby function, outstanding image quality with additional filters, detection distance up to 1600 meters, shooting distance up to 500 meters. To me, one of the best selling points of the optics range is they all come in a magnesium alloy housing and the build quality is absolutely superb. Another real good feature of the optics range is how simple the menu options are to use. You have a, um, a safety feature where to access the menus, you press two buttons simultaneously. One of the good features of the optics is you don't actually have to enter any menus to reach the critical operations of the scope. So a, a, a single depress of the front button changes you from your optical magnification through the digital mag magnification range. The button nearest to the eyepiece, a long press changes you from black hot to white hot and short presses change the level of the brightness of the OLED display. And you've got the great option that you've got three weather modes, you've got a standard mode, a wet mode and a fog mode. Um, and in all but the harshest conditions, normal mode is, is by far the best. It gives you a perfectly smooth and clear image. Viewfinder is fully adjustable on brightness. You can set the maximum brightness and then you've got four intermediate brightness levels just by a touch of the button. And again, that's very handy because if you're out shooting during the day, you generally find that you want the screen a lot brighter than you do when you're out shooting at night and it's only a case of a one button press without entering any menu settings that you can then just change the brightness of your um, OLED display to get the best image. And again to enter different modes you've got a choice of black hot and white hot, no fancy colour mode. The optics recognise a 35 and recognise a 50. A portable thermal imaging site you can also use as a spotter. They're relatively small in size and extremely lightweight. Key characteristics 1.4 or 2 times optical magnification, 4 times digital zoom, 384 by 288 detector, Wi Fi module for video streaming durable magnesium body, superb IR lens with scratch resistant carbon coating, multifunction control buttons, weather type function, standby function, detection distance up to 900 meters, shooting distance up to 250 meters. Here we have the optics recognizer thermal sights. This is with a 35 mm lens. This one is with a 50 mm lens. Both have Picatinny rail attachments, can fit onto rifles up to 308 caliber. And because of their relatively small size as well, are ideal to be used as spotters. The recognizer runs off C123 batteries and also has the option of being supplied with a battery extender which gives an additional five hours of battery use. The functionality also includes Wi-Fi and recording outputs which can be attached to iOS and Android devices. These units are supplied with an internal standby mode which switches off when the rifle is in a tilt position downwards or upwards. Hello, we're now back on the field with Darren. Uh, as you can see, the conditions are mixed and varied. We've got heavy mist here at the moment. So we're gonna start with our uh, thermal units. We'll talk you through it as Darren's bore sighting through to firing his rifle, give you some useful tips, and uh, hopefully talk you all the way through the operation of both the identifier and the recognizer. We're going to show you now how to zero your identifier and recognize the thermal rifle scopes. Uh, Darren's going to zero his rifle in now. Zeroing or bore sighting is made in a similar way 
to adjusting and bore sighting of the day sights. The big difference that the reticle is adjusted electronically by pressing buttons. In position X, 0, Y0, zero, the reticle is in the centre of the field of view. By increasing the value of X, the reticle is moved to the right and by decreasing the value to the left. Analogically, by increasing the value of Y, the reticle is moved towards and by decreasing it downwards. A single step or click of the reticle equates 2.8 centimetres on 100 metres. For example, if the target is on 100 metres and the hit point is 20 centimetres to the right and 15 centimetres downwards from the target mark, the reticle should be moved 7 steps or clicks to the right and 5 steps or clicks downwards. You can zero your optics thermal imaging scope with just two shots. One, aim at the centre and perform the first shot. Two, see where the impact is and place a heat marker on it. Three, look through the scope and aim at the centre again. From the menu choose settings, NUC type and switch to external. 5. While aiming at the centre, press the NUC N button. That will execute shutterless mode of the functioning and make a negative image on the screen as frozen photo that you will see all the time. 6. Move the reticle from the centre towards the heat patch that marks your impact point. 7. Shoot again to see if the zeroing is precise. Darren is now zeroing in the Optics Recognizer 50. Um, all the Optics thermal rifle mounted scopes are zeroed in in the same fashion. So the identifier we've just talked you through, it's exactly the same for zeroing in the Recognizer. All the Optics thermal scopes now come with Wi-Fi interfaces. Darren's currently got one of the Recognizer mounted on a Tika rifle. Uh, to uh, show you the capability. The Wi-Fi system can be interfaced with any Android or iOS system. We've shown you the Optics Thermal Scopes. We'd now like to show you one of the Optics Night Vision Scopes from their range. This particular one, which uh, Darren's showing, is the Firefly 6, six times magnification can be zeroed in during daylight, provided of course you've got the lens cover on. This has a very small hole in it to enable you to do the sighting. One click is one centimetre to a hundred metres. If zeroing a night vision device at night time, then obviously it's recommended that you use a very light coloured target. How a night vision works. Basically, the night vision devices work in the visible light spectrum and in parts of the near infrared spectrum. Each device is equipped with image intensifying tubes, which is the heart of the device. The light is present in the nature even in the darkest nights, coming from the stars, moon and partial reflections. That light is captured and focused from the night vision device's optics to the image intensifying tube. The light enters in the form of photons and goes through the photocathode where they are transformed into electrons. The electrons are then amplified to a much greater number through an electrical and chemical process. The electrons are then hurled against the phosphorus screen that changes the amplified electrons back into visible light that you see through the eyepiece. The image will now be a clear green or black and white depending on the image intensifying tube inside. Proud to say that Optics is integrating a wide variety of tubes in their night vision devices, including various second generation tubes, Photonis XD4 or XR5 tubes with auto gating, and third generation tubes. The Night Vision Scope Firefly 3 is one of the most compact on the market in its class, offering three times optical magnification, operating with only one button and adjustable reticle illumination. 
Key characteristics, compact and lightweight. Works with a single AA battery. Three times magnification. Anti-reflective coating. Durable aluminium housing. Shooting distances up to 150 meters. Reticle illumination. A variety of tubes which can be integrated inside. Getting dark, it's time to show you the optics night vision range. The one that I'm holding is the Firefly 3, three times magnification. Again, fits on a rifle on a straight Picatinny rail. Works off an AA battery. On off switch here and your reticle zeroing here. The optics range of night vision are all housed in aluminium with high quality lenses. The scopes have adjustable reticle illumination and a choice of eight different intensifier tubes ranging from Gen 2 Plus to Generation 3. Firefly 6 night vision scope. Long range night vision scope with outstanding performance, offering six times optical magnification, operation with only one button and adjustable reticle illumination. Key characteristics. Works with a single AA battery, six times magnification, anti-reflective coating, durable aluminium housing with a shooting distance of up to 400 meters. Reticle illumination, a variety of tubes can be integrated inside. Here we have the Optics Firefly 6 night vision rifle scope, six times magnification. Again, with illuminated reticle, housed in aluminium. Darren, you've got the Optics Firefly 6. You've had a look through, what do you think? I, I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, as you know, I use a lot of the like, I-squared night vision. Uh, this variant's coming in a white phosphor tube and I find the white phosphor tube very, very pleasing to the eye. You seem to get more uh, definition and detail. And um, my personal opinion, I like the detail that you get through normal night vision. Because of the choice of intensifier tubes, each optics night vision rifle sight is basically custom made to the individual requirement. And one of the features that I really like is the illuminated reticle where you've got, uh, you know, sort of finite adjustment of the brightness of the reticle so dependent on you know how much illumination you've got you can have the, the reticle as bright or as dim as you need it. Boar Hunter, night vision monocular, tiny pocket size observation device. Key characteristics, extremely small and very handy and compact. Only 300 grams in weight. Works with a single AA battery. Extra wide field of view, 42 degrees, spotting up to 100 meters. By combining additional lenses, this offers three times, four times, or five times magnification for extra distance up to 400 meters. In addition to night vision rifle scopes, optics also produce night vision observation devices. First of all, I'd like to show you the Boar Hunter, which is extremely compact and tiny, as you can see. Very, very light. Again, available with a choice of eight intensifier tubes from Gen 2 to Gen 3. Works off a double A battery, one times magnifying aluminium housing. This particular model is also available with an optional three times, four times and five times magnification lenses, which increase the distance. The standard unit 
can see up to 100 meters. Forrester night vision binocular. The best way to observe wildlife during the night. Key characteristics. Biocular. Three times optical magnification. Works with a single CR123 battery. Spotting up to 300 meters. Interpupillarity adjustment. Here we have the Optics Forester 3. This is a three times magnification night vision observation by ocular. The benefit of this is it's a single tube but dual eyepiece for long term observation, ideal for deer counting, observation, aluminium housing. The Optics Forester 3 three times magnification night vision binocular is available with a choice of eight intensifier tubes starting from Gen 2 Plus through to Gen 3 and also has the added benefit of additional illumination can be attached on the side. Well Darren, we've been out since early morning. We've tried the thermals, we've tried the night vision. Concluding thoughts, advantages, disadvantages? Well, con concluding thoughts is um, thermal is very good. You can use it 24 seven mm. in any weather conditions. The one thing you can't use with thermal is through glass. The night vision, you certainly get better clarity in optimal conditions if you have no mist, fog, uh, your recognition of your quarry is so much better, um, but with the quality of optics thermals, especially in their 640 cores, yes, 24/7, um, it's down to the customer. Yeah, and potentially the customer that's looking for trophy shooting outside of the UK and other parts of the world uh, may consider the uh, the optics night vision. Uh, it's got limitations as to usage, obviously only during uh, hours of darkness weather conditions, uh, but for clarity, particularly if you're looking for trophy shots, yeah. night vision has that advantage. Night, night vision wins. But yeah. it's a very difficult uh, yeah. concluding remark, isn't yeah. it? It's down to the individual, basically. Yeah. But earlier when we was out and it was thick fog, cloud, rain, thermal yes. winds. Absolutely, absolutely. So there'll always be two schools of thought on this and personal preferences will prevail, really. Yeah. Cheers. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you for joining us uh, with Optics today here in Bulgaria. Uh, obviously, we're doing more out and about the different kit tomorrow. Um, you're familiar because you're an existing customer with our thermals, so you know exactly the quality of uh, the Optics range. But you are more familiar also with your vermin controlling, how technology has improved to where we stand today. Yeah, it's amazing how fast technology has moved. It was nice recounting some stories to you earlier, the Recognizer 50, which is only two times optical, but the picture image you get on the thermal these days is just truly amazing. Mm. Um, only last week, you know, had this on a 17 HMR, um, was doing some vermin control and could easily shoot using a 17 HMR out to 200 meters, um, which two, three years ago, you'd struggle to find any piece of kit that you could shoot 200 meters away let alone recognise and get the quality. You're shooting even longer distances with... Yeah, uh, but at, at night there is no need to shoot. When you've got a kit of this quality, you know, you don't have to be pushing the boundaries too far. No. But what interests me is the way that also technology's moved, that you can um, have Wi-Fi capability to transmit to your... You can use it as a training aid, you can buddy share, so um, somebody in the vehicle with you can actually see what you're doing rather than just sit in the dark. Participating in the evening, basically. So it helps with the participation. Mm. You've also got recording facilities, so you've, again, another way of sharing your hunting um, experience, or if you're doing professional work that you can say to the landowner, this is exactly what we've done tonight, this is where we've been, 
um, because this new technology just makes life so easy. All recording. Well, the other first for optics last year was the introduction of the rangefinder on the uh, identifier, which again was the first one available in the UK market. So. We really wait and see what optics are going to bring in the next 12 yeah, months. Well, uh, yeah, talking about the rangefinder, you know, rangefinder is just an absolute game changer at night. Mm. Shooting at night using any form, even under a lamp, you know, the hardest thing at night is being able to identify how far an object yes. is because you, you you lose all, all sense of distance. So having a, a rangefinder that actually puts the distance up in the display, so you've got no issues. And people laugh because a lot of the time my thermal ends up on an air rifle. Right, um, right. which is quite unique. It, it's unique, but on an air rifle, obviously range is critical yes. because we're you know, you're talking less than a twenty millimeter kill zone, mm -hmm. um, and most air rifles have got quite a loopy trajectory. You know, the difference between a thirty yard shot and a forty five yard shot is a critical. hit or a miss. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice to have that ability that you can you know one press of a button you know exactly how far Very that your so. quarry is. Yes, very much so. My biggest passion is fox shooting. Yes. Um, night vision is just a game changer yeah. um, because so many people go out like I used to using lamps and then we change to filtered lamps and different coloured filter lamps yeah. and everything else. Now you can go out and you haven't got any worries that the quarry is going to spot you. So yes. You still need to use your field craft, you still need to know what you're doing and, and play the moon and the wind and the noise and everything else. Um, but you don't need any visible You've signs. got the tool to yeah. do the job, yeah. basically. Yeah. You yeah. can quite happily yeah. just sit there completely covert. Another area we're keen to explore with uh, optics is the anti-poaching uh, in Africa. Uh, through my working career, I've spent a lot of time in and out of uh, Africa, so it's a continent I'm deeply fond of. And of course, now with this crisis with the various rhino and uh, different parts of Africa, we feel with optics technologies this could be a great uh, changer. Oh, well, it would be a game changer. It would be a game changer again, and it helps the um, anti-poaching staff because they can be completely covert and hidden. Yes, and the poachers won't even know that they're being observed. I think this is the key because the poachers are extremely active throughout uh, Africa. Um, I've seen their activities in Botswana. We all know the publicity that um, has been this last 12 months on the rhinos. Uh, I think the royal family is involved in some of it as well in anti-poaching, so one we're going to explore in the future, maybe you'll come to Africa with me on one trip. So, okay. Cheers. Cheers.